Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Let's start with new project, create new composition. I'll keep default HD settings and keep duration, according to your length of audio, and hit OK. Now right click, and create new solid layer into timeline. Now click on this solid layer, and choose this pen tool. Also enable this proportional grid. Now taking the reference of this lines, create an edges of the triangle using this pen tool. Just like that. Now go to effects, and search for audio spectrum. And drag it into this solid layer. Also let's disable this. Now select the path to mask one. It will apply the audio spectrum on the shape which we created. Set the start frequency to 250%. End frequency to 1200%. Set its frequency bands to 78. Change its maximum height to 1300%. Also set its thickness to 3%. Now choose any color you like. Here I'll choose the combination of yellow and red color. Now set its display options to analog lines, and select its side options to side A. After doing this, import or simply drag your audio file into this timeline. I'll hide its video part as we only need its audio. Now right click on this audio layer, and pre-compose it, so you can change your audio easily. Now select your audio layer, in our case we'll select our pre-composed layer. Let's resize this a bit. This looks good to me. Now click on this layer, and click Ctrl plus D to duplicate layers. Now enable this lock, so we can properly work on this new layer. Now click on this new layer, and move this shape a bit forward. Just like that. And scale it down a bit. Explore its effect. And change its thickness to 6% and maximum height to 1110%. 1 
Also change its frequency bands to 285. Now set its display options to digital, and select its side options to side B. Now click on this layer, and click Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. For this layer we'll not change its position. In this layer we'll only change few settings. Here set its thickness to 10.40%. Change its frequency bands to 78. Now lastly change its side options to side A. Again click this layer, and press Ctrl plus D to create its duplicate layer. Now click on this layer, and move this shape a bit forward, also scale it down a bit. And adjust it a little. Now for this layer, change its thickness to 8.70%. Set its start frequency to 201% and maximum height to 2030%. Also set its frequency bands to 65. Now finally, change its display options to analog dots. Now select these four layers and pre-compose it, rename its name if you want. Now click on this pre-compose layer, and go to effects and presets, and search for mirror, and drag it into this pre-composed layer. Now drag this, just like that. Now take your time and adjust these at center. You can also take the reference of this proportional grid. Cool. Also if you are not satisfied with this triangle shape, just click on this pre-composed layer and press S, and click here to unlink this, and adjust it as you like it. This looks good to me. Now go to effects and search glow. And drag it into this layer. And just change its glow radius to 59%. Let's preview this. Awesome. Now right click and create a new text layer. Right here a time format. Just like that. Now we'll need this script, I'll put this in my website, link in description. Just copy this script. Now while pressing Alt, click on this source text. It will open up this script box, just delete this. And paste here our script, that's all. So here we'll get a simple timer for our audio. Now create more text layer, for artist name, and song name, if you want. Now select all text layer, right click and pre-compose it. Now resize it as you want and place it at center.
and also drag here glow effect and set its glow radius to 75%. Awesome. Now for background, create a new solid layer, and place it below all layers. Click on this layer and press T, and change its opacity to 80%. And now place your image or video below all layers. Let's preview this. Cool. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.